Alright, welcome back to NorCal 715. Today, I have a Panasonic Isophone answering machine that somebody would like to have repaired. So, let's go ahead and plug it in. I've got the uh, Wall Wart 12 volt 500 milliamp adapter connected to it. We'll power it up. I hear something run. The motor runs for a split second. They do have a couple tapes in it. I just hear that motor run and nothing else. Power it up one more time. You can listen. That's it, nothing else. Let's take it apart, see what's inside. So screws are out, cover is off, and there's what we see. One circuit board covering the entire answering machine. Looks like it has a processor and a couple of possibly uh, play record chips in it here. No screws holding the board down. It just unplugs, we can fold it over, and look at that one belt for the entire mechanism. Ooh, it's in sad shape. Oh, it's very nasty. So let's see if we can measure the belt and see if I have a replacement. I have a wide variety of assorted belts. So if I lay this out fairly straight, we take a quick measurement. It's about six and three quarters. So it'd be 13 and a half inches. So let's try to find a belt that's about 12 inches. Now it's a square belt, which means it's got four sides, it's not round, I mean it's round when you hold it this way, but the cross section is square, and it's about uh, 30, 40 thousandths in thickness. So let's see if I can find a square, about 12 inch belt, and we'll see what that does. So I just happen to have a PRB, Projector Recorder Belt Company, SCX. 11.8. It's in great condition. It's new old stock. It's never been used. So let's go ahead and first thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and get a Q-tip with some acetone. I know you guys are saying you shouldn't use acetone, but I've been using acetone to clean belts and pulleys and tape heads for close to 40 years with no adverse results. So I'm going to get a Q-tip, soak it with some acetone, and I'm going to clean the innards of all the pulleys in here. And we'll go ahead and put this new belt on it after I clean it, because it is new old stock. It's probably 20 to 30 years old at this point. So we'll go ahead and clean and deglaze the belt first. I have my bottle of acetone. I'm going to take my paper towel, hold it over the top, and just soak it with acetone. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fold the paper towel over the belt and just drag it through here a few times just to make sure we have a great belt surface the belt feels much better than when we started next I'm going to go ahead and dip my q-tip in the acetone and just go ahead and clean all the inner pulleys to get the old belt gunk off. Now with the clean in, we'll do it one more time. Much better. Now we'll go ahead and place the new belt in here. Now I want to make sure that it doesn't have any twists or turns as it goes. I'm going to try to straighten it out completely. There it is completely, no twists and turns. So let's go ahead and put it back together. And before I do that, I've got my light machine oil, very light oil. I'm just going to give the motor a little spritz of oil. I'm going to make sure I have some coming out, and I do. And I just want to get it up under the motor so the brass bushing has a little oil to go on. I've lined up all the connectors so they all snap back in place. 
We'll flip it back over, connect the coaxial power plug to it. Well, let's try to record a message on it and see if it'll play back. Hello? This is a test. NorCal 715, outgoing message test. Let's see if it'll play it back now. Hello? This is a test. NorCal 715, outgoing message test. So it seems to record the outgoing message okay. Let's go ahead and put it all back together. We'll plug it back in. All right, so there it is, all back together. Let's play the incoming message. Thanks for watching.